This is Germany and this is Royal Flush from Gottlieb. This is one of the very, very big pins from the late EM era in the mid 70s, built in 1976. Gottlieb still on EM, while the others already went to solid state and electronical pinball. But what they, what they did here is so nice, is so nice. Gottlieb, master of building pinball machines with card seams, did its best. And if you see, if you take a look how nice the play field was designed, how good it looks, and especially after I overhauled the machine, clean it, waxed it, new rubbers on it, this is only great. I always enjoy looking at these brilliant back glass with awesome artwork. And this machine is fun to play. Looks easy, but it's a crazy guy. Drives you nuts sometimes. And we show you two or three games on Williams, uh, sorry, on Gottlieb's Royal Flush. And before we start, you can see how they did the credit in Germany. On the left side, we got the 50 Pfennig for one game, then eine Deutsche Mark for two games, and you only got five games for two marks, and that was really expensive in 1976. Okay, not much to explain. Hitting the targets, the drop targets. The Gottlieb was famous for building machine with drop targets. Just take a look at Joker Poker, for example, from 1978, one of the best drop target games ever built. And here, hitting the Jokers. After hitting them, you will advance the light here in the right saucer. Litting all three lights, you get the chance to receive the special and replay here. It looks easy to hit the hole, but it's, it's very difficult, believe it. Or don't believe it. And here we got wide open out lanes. Ball often loses. But here on the right side we got the gate, which you can open right here in this lane and which saves your life to return to gameplay. Okay, enough said. This is Royal Flush from Gottlieb, one of the big classics from the mid 70s. And we start two games right now. Okay, let's go. I have to tell you that this machine is fitted with shine unit and uh, maybe in the state the shine unit was can always be found on the machines here in Germany it's very very difficult to, re to receive a machine with chime unit because in those days the owners of the pub they didn't want the noise and they told the people who distributed the machines not to fit the pinballs with chime units and so it's very hard to receive a pinball with chime unit here in Germany but I got one and it's much cooler gameplay hearing the bells and as you can see the boy already played two balls and the ball is draining faster than you can see This is the third and last ball on player one.
That's it. Two games with three balls on Royal Flush from Gottlieb. Here is Germany and we hope you enjoyed our video. Matching with 60, no replay because we got 19 and 70. Okay, goodbye. Till next time, enjoy our videos, enjoy my videos. This is Tommy Electronic.